Hey, orange one here. So we got a goblin raid um, just coming in, a vile force of darkness, you know. Uh, so if we look at these dudes right here, uh, let's see. Let's look at their inventory. Yeah, see, they've got like large cave silk and cloth and all this stuff. Got some iron, iron as well. And they got some decent stuff in here, I'm sure. Um, but it looks like a lot of them are wearing cloth over a lot of their body parts. And they have like some copper weapons and stuff. The thing that um, we want to be careful about is the uh, the troll right here. A mace man. So there's a troll. Luckily he's not really wearing armor. And it looks like they've got another troll there. But this one's not a mace man. Um, so what I'm thinking what we need to do is first of all we need to do a military alert. Get everyone into the danger zone. And we're going to be a little bit more purposeful about uh, closing off the gate and gathering our military before we charge in. We're going to make sure we've got every soldier together, is what I'm thinking. Those goblins are right there. Yeah, we're going to lose the dog, but it's fine. And we do have our frame rate dropping considerably down. Because I think it's the manager I have all these jobs that they can't get done. Oh man, there's like at least four trolls. Um... Whoever's moving down right now, you're moving really slow. But I think everything is moving really slow right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get our squads, militia squads. Um, I think both A and B, we're going to move to like right here for now. And let's just actually just take a minute to look at our militia. It's been a long time since I've played, and I apologize for that. Um, real life has been keeping me busy. Okay, so we're missing cloaks and some greaves from them and some high, high boots. Um, you seem to be missing quite a bit of your gear. Because it's steel. But everyone else who's got metal seems to be okay for the most part. Um, maybe we change your armor? Let's change it to just metal for now. Uh, how do I do this again? Um, is it U for assign uniforms? Let's just have you be on metal armor. Just get you some in something. And hopefully I think that's the last of our our dwarves is this dude who's crawling in. I think we might not even need to shut the gates. By the time the goblins get in here, I suspect that um all of our our guys are going to be out of the fighting area. Where are they? Are they just hanging out? No, they're moving in. There really are a ton of trolls there, though. Let's just take another look at them. <laughs> they're in just cloth. Yeah, all these poor trolls are just wearing cloth. Oh, man, we're going to chew right through them. I mean, trolls can hit really hard. Don't get me wrong, but they don't have any armor. And there's like only one of them that has a real weapon. And if we look at our guys, proficient, sword dwarf, competent, adequate, adequate, skilled, adequate, skilled, competent. Yeah, I mean, talented, that's pretty good, and skilled. And people are getting there. They're getting their skills up. They're not legendary just yet. But they've got steel gear. Like, you don't need to be legendary if you have steel gear, you know? Okay, that dog died pretty quickly there. I got just chopped him up. I think I'm just going to tell my militia to hold back here and just wait for them to come down. And 
Sorry for the wait. I'm probably gonna keep you guys with us. Come on, goblins and trolls. Come on down. I think our other problem was that we tried to fight them on the surface, and we're not training out on the surface, and so my dwarves, uh, they're not used to the light. And if they're not used to the light, they'll actually puke. Yeah, funny, actually. They'll just, like, end up puking and um, not really being able to do their, their job. Yeah, those trolls are coming in. Yeah, if they're puking and they're nauseous, I think the nausea makes it so, so they're less likely to... Um... Oh, wow, that... Uh... Let me guess, that's his... Oh, no, it's just teeth? No, it's his left horn. Okay. I think it the, the vomiting makes it so they fight less efficiently. Or something like that. And the trolls are running away now. Okay. Um, you're fighting. Stab them. Wow. Steel short swords just tearing through them, like I said. Exploding toes. Uh... Yeah, this is the goblin that just killed the dog, I think. And he's dead. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Cut off their head. The short sword. I guess that's the first thing. First one down. And we got another one coming in. And he didn't last really long, did he? Not still standing, is he? Yeah, he is. He's uh, fighting over his buddy's dead body. And he's dead. Oh wow, this one actually lasted quite a while. They got hit a lot, at least. Um, this makes me feel a little bit better about losing that one commander. Pulling on the embedded sword, man. You're just embedding your spear and sword all, all over this poor dude. And he passed out. Uh, and by cutting off their arm, and they just passed out. Oh my god. So the spear um, hitting the neck ended up decapitating them. Okay. Yeah, don't mess with these dwarves, man. You guys just keep on coming in. I would highly recommend you you don't. So we got Darwin, Daigle, Tun, and... I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. I think it's a... Uh... I think it might be the granite speeches that are getting these kills right now. So where's Darwin? Yeah. It looks like it's our uh, not primary military actually. Uh, can I tell A to move up then? Why don't you guys come up to here? Because then you'll get actually more involved in the fight. And there's another troll down. Knocked unconscious. Well, you fractured their brain. I'm pretty sure they're not going to recover from that. <laughs> this one falled over. This one's not done, done quite yet. Gosh, this is just brutal. Yeah, we're just cutting these these poor trolls apart. It's like troll uh 
Massacre. Um, so I think this guy just died. Steel Warhammer. Yeah, of course the Steel Warhammer. That is going to take out a few goblins as well, I've got a feeling. Uh, let's look at this goblin, Axe Dwarf. Um, yeah, okay, Hammer Dwarf broke the, sh the shoulder, it looks like. You know, I personally love reading these logs. If you guys don't, sorry, this is probably what this episode is going to be, is just checking out the combat logs. The goblin, he bit me? Wait, Zolak? Um, is that one of our guys? No, I'm pretty sure that was him. Yeah, you guys are... You guys are not gonna get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, buds. Yeah, we've got like steel shields that we're blocking hits with. And you're just trying to hit um You're trying to hit through that and that's not gonna work well for you. Yeah, we're like breaking their nervous tissue and that's the one thing is the, no game does combat quite like Dwarf Fortress, you know? Like these combat logs are so fun for me to read. And it's so complicated what's happening. Well, I think our soldiers are going to be a lot better after this, don't you? I'd be interested to see if there's any major injuries at all. This is reminding me a little bit of that one scene in uh, The Walking Dead, which I hate, but I started watching again recently. There's a lot of blood at, in that hallway there. Yeah, you, you've killed a lot of people in that hallway. Yeah, I feel like this is that one scene where um, they, the... Kingdom doesn't lose anyone, you know, when they just like fight and fight and fight and they just keep on winning and winning and winning and then they just get mowed down. I feel like that's about to happen to us. Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen any major injuries where our guys are getting knocked unconscious or anything. This guy did get knocked down. Yeah, Asimov is not happy about all his death, but he's improving his striking. And as a hammer dwarf, that's going to be really important. I think... Is that Asimov that's right there? Yeah, actually, we've got quite a few people here. Dishab, Asimov, Daigle, Ton, and Dishab. Yeah, there's like five people just on one tile. Just slaughtering whatever gets near. And that troll did not last long. <laughs> well, actually, they lasted, uh. They got no attacked a number of times. They keep on getting, uh. Oh, this one actually grabbed one and took one down. But that silver spear. Wait, silver? Did I read that right? Do we have a silver spear? Yeah, we got a silver spear. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks like uh, making their ear explodes make them makes them let go of you. That would make sense. And another head cut off. It seems to me that uh, there seems to be a bit of a theme in terms of how people are, are dying in this battle. And there's a lot of them. Uh, B and A, I'm going to move you up to up here. That way the people in the back should charge up as well. 
Those bolts, uh, did someone die? Is that a corpse? Oh no, Darwin died. Who killed Darwin? Who was it that got the killing blow? Wait, what? You got killed by a copper morning star? A troll mace dwarf with a copper morning star hit you and killed you. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's not right. That ain't fair. <laughs> um, the troll me. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> troll, mace dwarf, mace man. Kuro. You, my friend, are a monster. You just destroyed Darwin. Um. And we do have steel, which seems to be protecting decently, but that headshot, I don't know what happened with that. And... They've got copper gear as well, so we're going to have a hard time getting in there. And he's got an iron helm, actually. Okay, this, this dude right here is... He's going to be a problem. But, you know, our, our soldiers are doing okay. Right upper arm. We did... You bit off their teeth? Dude, not cool. Okay, you hit one of the heads, tearing apart the skin. And they dropped their weapon, but they got back up. They have a copper shield. Okay, another person got hit in the leg with that morning star. That morning star is, uh, that thing is doing some damage. This dude right here, Oro, has lost his teeth, but he killed a dwarf. Um, I think he's dead now. No. Gosh, this is just an insane battle. But their copper gear seems to be protecting them pretty well. Okay, their eye is damaged, so they're going to be pretty badly hurt now. The right knee is bent. Please tell me we kill it soon. His upper ribs. Right back tooth, really? Where is this Koro? I don't even see him. If I go here, if I click on them, I bet they're standing on the same tile, right? So if I go to... If you clicked on a tile with multiple people, you could cycle through them or something. That was like on this page. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Crows right here. I think all he's had is his teeth knocked out so far. Come on, take him out. Did he kill another dwarf? I feel like there's another dwarf corpse. There's Tom. Yeah, I feel like we we may lose some more people to this uh, mace troll. Oh, I think he's dead. Gosh, that Koro. 15 pages of combat. What? What? 
There was only four pages, like, literally a couple minutes ago. I think everyone must have been attacking you. You must have been the last one to go down. Let's see. Um... So people were, like, grabbing onto his gear. So they're just grabbing all over this Axe Dwarf. Were they just trying to hold them down? I think they were just trying to hold them down. Oh my gosh, they were, like, wrestling this thing. Were they not able to hold their weapons or something? And so they were just wrestling. Scratching them. They're just grabbing and scratching this thing. Okay, you got your steel shield, but yeah, I feel like he just broke the arms of all of them. So they just like wrestled this thing to the to the ground. And it does not seem to be getting any attacks off. Yeah, you're striking the head with the shield. This is this is bizarre. I don't understand why no one um, was hitting them. They're just grabbing and wrestling them down. But then again, if that's the case, how did he actually kill them? Because it seems to me like he's not gotten a single attack off in forever. Um, I'm just going to scroll all the way down. Well, I actually ended up killing him. I think they must have just bled out or something. Yeah, I feel like they they went unconscious or something for like the last like 15 pages. I don't see any attacks from him for like 7 pages or something like that. Yeah, it's like literally not attacked in 7 pages. Good lord. I almost feel bad for it. Passed out from exhaustion. So he got so tired from killing dwarves that he passed out and people just wrestled with them until he died. Nice. And... I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Invader. Are you actually invading? What's the deal with you? Doesn't look like it. Um, A team, go kill the troll. And then B team, you're gonna go for the Goblin Axeman, I think. Uh, B team, go kill that dude. I'm actually going to... Well, let's just wait a little bit until we've got the goblin, the last of the goblins taken out, then we'll uh, do some first aid. That troll's running around. What are you doing? Overcome by terror. Yeah, I would, I would be too. We just slaughtered like 10 trolls, even though one did a really good job. And yeah, you're punching them. Why are you guys not actually hitting them? I feel like they're just wrestling them to death. I'm not sure why. Okay, well, someone killed the uh, Yeah, he stabbed them in the head. Good job. Now for the troll. And troll's dead. 
axe dwarf hacked them with steel battle axe. Okay, so we do have some weapons. Um, so go ahead and get that alert changed so that people are no longer fighting for their lives. And we'll see how many people are dead or injured. It looks like there's definitely a couple that we lost. Maybe I should wait till we send people down to the, um, the hospital to really assess our ourselves here. Bob is down there already. Um, ooh, yeah, we actually took three, four losses. Four, gob four uh, people are dead, it looks like. I think we had 10 and 10 beforehand. You know, all in all, that I'm okay with that. That's a decent trade. We lost some people. A lot of people got some good experience. Okay, the granite speeches really did not do great. But that was a, you know, I think that was, a, <laughs> that was fun for me, at least. Um, and I know we could do all kinds of traps and optimize things, so we're actually hitting them with not just rocks, but actual um, steel traps and blocks and all that stuff, and that hurt them worse. And there's tons of stuff we could do that would be more optimal, but would it be more interesting, you know? There's like this interesting GDC talk, which I would highly recommend to anyone to check out, is um, by the person who made RimWorld. And he's talking about interesting stories versus uh, gameplay mechanics that are clear. And he was saying, you know, the most optimal play is usually not the most interesting play. That's basically what he was getting at. Which makes a lot of sense to me because it's like, yeah, if you are winning and you stand no chance of ever losing, then it's not going to be very interesting. Like if you're too good at a game. There's a lot of games out there like that where it's like you can be too good. That's why I actually like uh, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead as well. Is like you can't get too good. There's almost always something that can just destroy you. Even if you've gotten to the point where you can beat almost anything, you can still get killed by like a chicken walker or something else, you know? Okay, so I just gave birth. That's appropriate after all this death. We got some life coming into the world. Um, I'm kind of a little bit worried. That we don't have more people in here. We've only got Daggle. Who, uh... Let's just say their health is not great right now. They've lost their ability to stand and grasp. Um, let's just have a look-see. It's like torn ligaments and... Yeah, it's just torn ligaments. Okay. He's got a lot of things that need cleaning and dressing. We should have some doctors heading over to him. I think we've got plenty of, um, whatchamacallit, let me just check the time on this. It's been about half hour. It's just really quick, we'll check dwarf, floor, dwarf therapist and see if we have any people with cleaning and suturing that are not working in diagnostics. Um, I'm not seeing it. Suturing. Yeah, there's um, diagnostics. They're all doing stuff. I get some more diagnostics just in case one of them becomes available. I think we've got like a lot of stuff to haul right now or something like that. Also something that might be going on is our noble. Yeah, the yak bull, I'm not too worried about them right now. Uh, noble... Okay, we do have a chief medical dwarf. Let's look at that chief medical dwarf. Uh... What are you doing right now?
you're penning the stray count. Is there nothing you can do for, say, I don't know, our injured? You're trying to put animals in a pen. I don't understand. Hey, Watson's here. What are you doing? You're cleaning. Okay, good. So that wound is getting cleaned. Okay, so I, sh I should stop worrying then if your wounds are being tended to. Then I think we're okay. How many kills did you get? Three trolls? What? You've killed three trolls. What were you carrying? Um, did you drop your weapon? Yeah, I don't see your weapon on you. You've killed three trolls. I'm I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, I wish there was like a kill screen where you could easily see everyone's kills that they have. Because now I'm I'm curious about our um, our glorious leaders. Sibrek. Let's actually look at the most skilled ones. Skilled, proficient. Novice, novice, adequate, proficient, adequate. So I think our most skilled is uh, you, the skilled hammer's dwarf. So let's see, Henley, uh, how you did. If I go to you, you're just a peasant. You've got zero kills. How? How do you have zero kills? There's a bloodbath. My god. Speaking of which, in the next episode, we're going to have to take care of all those dead bodies. Um, I think this is pretty good for now, though. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.